In this lesson, we will learn how to perform the hypothesis test for the difference of population means using the z-test. A random selection of volunteers at a research institute had been exposed to a typical cold virus. After they started to have cold symptoms, 10 of them were given multivitamin tablets daily, which contained 3 grams of vitamin C and various other vitamins and minerals. The remaining 10 volunteers were given placebo tablets. For each individual, the length of time taken to recover from cold is recorded. At the end of the experiment, following data are observed. It is known that the population standard deviation of recovery time from cold is 1.8 days when treated with multivitamin and the population standard deviation of recovery time from cold is 1.5 days when treated with placebo tablets. It is also known that both populations are approximately normally distributed. The researchers claim that the mean recovery time use of one of the patients treated with multivitamin is not equal to the mean recovery time use of two of the patients who are treated with placebo tablets. At the 0.01 level of significance, is there enough evidence to support this claim? Perform a two-tailed test, carry your intermediate computations to at least three decimal places and round your answers as specified in the table. So first of all, we have data. Uh, data is in days uh, it took these people to recover from cold, and one group was treated with multivitamins while another one was getting uh, placebo tablets. It is known that the population standard deviation of recovery time from cold is 1.8 days when treated with multivitamin and the population standard deviation of recovery time from cold is 1.5 days when treated with placebo tablets. It is also known that both populations are approximately normally distributed. The researchers claim that the mean re recovery time MUSA1 of the patients treated with multivitamin is not equal to the mean recovery time MUSA2 of the patients who are treated with placebo tablets. At the 0.01 level of significance, is there enough evidence to support this claim? Perform the two-tailed test. Carry your intermediate computations to at least three decimal places and round your answers as specified in the table. Please note that I will be demonstrating how to perform this test using TI-84. For that reason, I need to enter data provided into the list on my calculator. So I'm entering um, days to recover from cold for a people treated with multivitamins into list one and um, data in days to recover from cold for people treated with placebo into list two. I may want to run two variable stats on list one, list two to get some additional information about these lists like sample mean or sample standard deviation, but it actually is not needed if uh, TI 84 will do the test for me. So just as an alternative, in case if you need this information to do this work manually, you could. I also note that the population standard deviation for first uh, group is provided to be 1.8, for second group 1.5, and sample sizes are 10 in each case. The question I want to know is the following. Is there enough evidence to conclude that MUSA1, the mean recovery time of patients treated with multivitamin, is not equal to the mean recovery MUSA2 of patients treated with uh, placebo tablets? That not equal to tells me that it is a two-tailed test and not equal to will show up in the alternative hypothesis statement. One more important thing to notice is that we can assume the populations are normally distributed, which is really important here with such a small sample. I couldn't perform the z-test otherwise, um, but this, this statement lets me apply this test. Let's um, set up our hypothesis statements. We already said that alternative hypothesis will say their um, mu sub 1 and mu sub 2, their difference is not zero, which means they are different. And um, null hypothesis will say mu sub 1 minus mu sub 2 is zero, zero, meaning the means are same. Alpha is uh, 0 0.01. I go into option 3 on my list of tests called 2 sample z-test and apply that test to the lists where my data is stored, whichever lists you decided to use. Z-value comes out to be 0 0.499 and P-value comes out to be 0 0.618. 
using the p-value approach to the test, um, I just need to compare the p-value to alpha because p-value of 0 0.618 is not less than or equal to the alpha of 0 0.01. I don't reject the null hypothesis. Now I'm ready to conclude. There is not enough evidence at alpha equals 0 0.01 level of significance that the mean recovery time of patients treated with multivitamins is not equal to the recovery time of patients treated with placebo. So it doesn't seem that multivitamins played um, a, an important role in recovery times. Let's take a look at how we perform this test on the TI-84 itself. First, we must make sure data is in the lists. So let's get to edit. Here's my data. I recorded it into list one and list two. Then I'm ready to go to the test and I need uh, the option number three, two sample Z test. Press three or scroll down to that test, whichever way you want to go. Choose option for data because you don't have stats provided. Enter sigmas provided to us, 1.8 and 1.5. Identify specific lists where your data is stored and choose the type of, oh, frequencies should be one for each because there's no other list associated with list one or list two. Um, choose the two-tailed option, not equal to, and scroll down to calculate. Press enter to get the quantities that we have seen on the previous slide. Z, test statistic, is 0 0.4. 499 and P is 0 0.618. Here's one more example and I decided to include this one because this example doesn't have raw data but statistics given to us and also it's a one tail test not two tail test. The human resources department of an engineering company gives IQ tests to randomly select a group of uh, new hires every year. They claim that the mean IQ score for new hires MUSA 1 for this year is greater than or equal to the mean IQ score of the new hires MUSA 2 from last year. This year, 70 new hires took the test and scored an average of 112.7 points with a standard deviation of 12.8. Last year, 80 new hires took the IQ test and they scored an average of 117.3 points with a standard deviation of 15.3. Assume that the population standard deviation of the IQ scores from the current year and the last year can be estimated by the sample standard deviations, since the samples that are used to compute them are quite large. Is there enough evidence to reject the claim of the Human Resources Department at the 0.05 level of significance? Perform a one-tail test. Carry your intermediate computations to at least three decimal places. First of all, I would like to point out a few important statements in the story that will allow us to use the z-test. One of them, we have an assumption that the population standard deviations uh, are same as sample standard deviations because we have large sample sizes. In other words, I can say that s sub 1 is same as sigma sub 1 and s sub 2 is same as sigma sub 2 which means I have sigmas and therefore I can perform z-test, not t-test. That's one thing. I also want to note that nowhere we have an assumption of normality of the populations. And the reason is because the sample sizes are quite large and we can uh, perform the test even without that assumption of uh, normal distribution for the populations. So we are safe to use the uh, z-test. Uh, lastly, I would like to point out the statement which will help to identify us how to set up our hypotheses. And uh, the statement comes from line number two. They claimed that the mean IQ score of new hires mu sub 1 from this year is greater than or equal to the mean IQ score of new hires mu sub 2 from last year. And the main thing is greater than or equal to. So we are going to use greater than or equal to in one of the hypothesis statements. Which one? Typically, the claim is representing the alternative hypothesis, but not in this case. Why? 
The reason is because the question we have at the very end of the story says, is there enough evidence to reject? So here we go. It's another um, example of how this one word reject will switch everything around. Um, the claim that HR has can be rejected only if it is considered to be the null hypothesis claim. I cannot reject the alternative hypothesis because I don't even know if it's true yet. I can only reject something that is assumed to be true, which must be the null hypothesis. So, for that reason, the claim of the uh, Human Resources Department goes into H sub zero position. So, notice I'm claiming here that the mean from this year minus mean from last year, with this year being higher quantity, must produce a quantity greater than or equal to zero. And alternatively, of course, mu sub 1 minus mu sub 2 must be less than zero is my uh, h sub 1 or alternative hypothesis statement. I proceed as usual, state your alpha, because this particular question in Alex is... Um, required to be solved through critical value approach. I need to uh, compute that critical value. What will it be? Alternative hypothesis uses the less than symbol, which makes this a left-tailed test. So I'm separating 5% in the left tail from 95% uh, on the other side of this critical value. To find this location, I utilize the inverse norm with 5% on the left, 5% uh, of area on the left, zero for mean, one for standard deviation, and I identify that the area listed here is on the left of this critical value. This number comes out to be negative 1.645. That's this location over here. Now I apply um, test, option number three, called two sample Z test to the information provided to us right here. And it gives me Z value, the test statistic, to be negative 2.5. 004 and p-value of 0 0.023. So my uh, test statistic, negative 2.004, ended up being on the left side of the critical value or in the rejection region. For that reason, we're going to reject the null hypothesis. My summary, my statement will be the following. There is enough evidence at alpha equals 0 0.05 level of significance to reject the claim of the human resources department. Let's see how we can perform this test on the TI-84 itself. Going to tests, choosing option three, two sample z-test. Stats is the type of test I can perform with the given information. Enter sigmas, which are the assumed value equal to the sample standard deviations, 12.8 and 15.3. Now enter first mean of 112.7 and sample size of 70, second mean of 117.3 and sample size of 80. It's a left tail test, so I need to highlight the less than option and scroll down to calculate. So here are the quantities. My test statistic Z is negative 2.004 and p-value is 0 0.023.